Hey, Bump Station, it's Hot 1079. You dirty JNX Fly Scout on the radio. DJ Cash, the fly Haitian kid. I'm in the building. And look, man, you know we always have famous individuals in here. Now, when I met this first, this young lady for the first time, she was kind of hood. All good. And I thought she was a rapper. I'm but nowhere she turned out to be hood. a singer. I'm nowhere near Queen Naja. I don't know where you got that from. You I thought you were when vibe, I first though. met you. I what? thought you were a rapper. Yeah. What what got a rapper a ra- vibe, for real. What is a rapper vibe? Like, kind of good ghetto a little bit. You were, I'm, I'm, that's fine. Kind of hood. No, nah, I wouldn't hood. say that. But it's like kind of like a swag, a certain swag that a rapper she has. Hood. Do you really think that? When you when I first met you, yes. Okay. Let's see if you now, do, now do you drink Kool Aid. Um, no. No, I don't drink. Okay, but I don't drink Kool Aid. I don't like it. It's you don't like Kool Aid. Too sugary. I like hot it. Cheetos. You eat hot Cheetos? Not off. No. Nope. Get a close up on this. That's up. hot fries. It's different. <laughs> Get a close and up on I that. just had these because I had them last night and it was good. It okay, was else. okay, well, okay. What 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 snacks does Queen Naji eat? What, what's your snack? What's your snack preference? <laughs> we know CJ wants chips. Okay. <laughs> um, what do I like for snacks? Um, dang, do I even eat snacks? Oh, I like um Nutella and the biscotti cookies. Don't try to get bougie and all sophisticated <laughs> now. Get all bougie. Don't try to get sophisticated now. No, seriously, I like the cookies off the Delta airplane with Nutella. I like fruit. When you tell her. What? No, Nutella. When Nutella. You oh, I thought you said when you tell her. I like oh, no, that. Nah, Nutella. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, You ain't never had Nutella? I mean, probably. It's mm. chocolate, really, bro. It's good. Been here, I haven't. Uh, I like peanut butter grandma cookies from the gas station. Okay. Uh, That's ghetto. Now, you get those at the hood gas station or, or the uh, racetracks? Honestly, you get that. You can get that anywhere. Sit go. Yeah. Chevron with the Tecron. <laughs> yeah, Chevron yeah. with the Tecron. I like I like Reese's. I like cereal for snacks. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. No, you See, good. y'all talk about mentioning y'all mentioning it's, snacks. And it's parent life though. I gotta commend you because a lot of people here. like it's kind of hard to judge. How how is it juggling your son in, in this music? This um, newfound extra fame that you have. It's well, it's kind of like, dang, everybody's phone's going off. Yeah, I thought everybody, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Is that my phone? Might be. Dude, y'all know. lit. Y'all got people who who blowing y'all up. You know, let some some. You know, c- continue. These bitches. Mm-hmm. I was playing. I was playing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Uh, it's been it's been an adjustment. Um, honestly, like like I kind of take pride in it. To right. be honest, because like I I feel like I'm able to like if I'm able to juggle parenting. And co-parenting and doing my my career, um, I feel really proud of myself. You know, it's it's a big step, but I mean, it's a lot of decisions I have to make now. With like whether I want to put like put him in public schooling or private school or just homeschool him because I want him to be with me more. Because at this age, he needs his mom. So right. it's really it's really um, not that easy, but. But you, I mean, pretty much like, I, I guess like for people that's just not tuning in that might not know who you are, you had like um, a lot of your, your, as far as like who you are and your life was on Instagram, like they can go back and search and go through certain things that you went through in your life. Yeah. So it's kind of like you always been like on the forefront anyway. Is it, do we have any um, reality shows coming real soon? Um, Not that, okay, not that I'm going to mention because okay. I'm not like, I don't like to con- say stuff and it don't, it's Com- not confirmed. Com- okay. Yeah. But most likely. Um, I'm sorry, what did you say? I was saying reality about your show. reality show. I mean, I, I think that, like, because of you're so big on YouTube, like, you know what I'm saying, as far as you've been YouTubing and YouTubing your career and your life. No, like, I just got thrown off by him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mama duties. Yeah. Truthfully, I I don't know what you just said. Again. Because I just got thrown off by him again. What did you just like say? Like, being on a reality show, you think that'll mess up, like, your uh, I, It depends on what reality show. Um... But if it, I mean, if it was like a reality show, like that they have a lot of drama, I would make sure, you know. I mean, I think at this point, because of your following, your reality show should be just based off your life and whatever you share to people already. Yeah, I know, but sh- you know how them reality reality shows be. They like to try to throw in scripts and you know, so it could be drama and stuff like that. But my life alone is like a journey, you know, that people want to watch without all that stuff. So I mean, it don't always have to be drama involved. I feel like it could be good. I was going to say it could be good and bad, but honestly, my life been on social media for the longest. So really, at this point, it's just another, another, um, something else in your life. Outlet. Right. Like, besides YouTube to put my life on. Like, because it's already on YouTube, and then they see 
everything on Instagram because everybody take my interviews and everything like that and put them on there. So, um, really, I wouldn't see nothing wrong with it. For those who don't know, like, let them know how you got, how did you get popping on, like, social media? Because, like, somebody Start might off, be a page and, like, 4 million followers. How did you get 4 million followers? Started off with me and my ex-husband. We were relation, relationship goals um, on Instagram and Facebook. You know, viral memes going around, couple stuff. And black, then Black magic, black love, all that good stuff. Yeah, and, I, you know, I guess we decided to um, take it to YouTube because, we. I mean, we... We were still broke. Like you famous on social media, but like you still we still living off the government and food stamps and section eight and all that stuff. So we decided to take it to um YouTube where we can be we can get paid for what we actually do and what we like to do, which is I guess be on social media and float around. Um, but this time like we had to be more verbal and talk on the camera and everything like that and then it went from that to everybody knowing our life stories, and then they knew that he cheated, and they knew, like, because when you're in the public eye, like, it's Talk not that. Me. I want to know. When you're in the public eye, it's just not that easy. Like, you can't do anything. We got you, CJ. Coming up. We, you can't do anything without um, expecting people to want cloud off of you. So if you want to go out and um, hit this little thing thing, you know what I'm saying, just because um, she will expose you, or more than likely, you know, for some clout. And so that's what happened. Um, multiple times, and I decided to move on and start my. Well, I had already had my own channel, but start doing things on my own channel, and uh, people. I guess people just lo- fell in love with my transparency, and you know, um, they got to know my personality and everything, and how right. I handle things through what I went um, um like about what I went through on social media. So, so how, how did you handle that? Like, how 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 much of effect did that? happened to you like I know you had to be hurt you know what I'm saying as far as that situation but I feel like like you're young you feel me I feel like a lot of older women go through the same thing that you went through you but you handled yours totally different like how, what would you tell some of these women that you know are in relationships like that um you know I used to I used to be the one to give advice about that stuff but the 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 true fact is you really don't know everybody's pace is different of when it like you know, some, sometimes it might take people years to leave and things like that. But um, everybody moves, like, in a different way. I just always say follow your heart and uh, know your self-worth. Um, a lot of times you could say you love yourself like how I did. And you don't really love yourself because you allowing all, this man to do all these things to you. And you allowing him to, um, you basically letting him know it's okay to do this to me. But, um. You just gotta know your self worth, but at the same time, don't don't leave, don't leave yet if you know you're not ready to leave. Like, don't that's just like playing games. Like, don't try to threaten him to leave so he could chase you. Cause you know what I'm saying. If you do some, if you say, if you address a guy like about a girl or your man about a girl, and you're not gonna do nothing about it, and you sit there and just take it, then he knows it's okay to go back and do it again. So, yeah. but does it have to make, be like like you you don't respect yourself or just you know, or things like that. Because no, 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 it could be them. that you, no. people just make mistakes. No, 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 mistake, no, you know no. What I, mean? I like, okay, here's the thing. People do make mistakes, right? Okay. You could just be in love and you could, like, because the way I was thinking at first, like, oh, well, he young, I'm young, you know, he a man, we've been together for five years. He probably, you know, just wants something new. He slipped up a couple of times, you know, and he's a man, you a know couple. what I'm saying? And Jeez. yeah, yeah, like, uh, I thought, like, once or twice, like, I thought, but it was like it was multiple, and that's where like you knowing your self worth comes in. When you know, like, is it okay for this to happen over and over and over and over again? Like, I do honestly feel like I know it's crazy, but I feel like <sighs> there's no man, and I know y'all might hate me from this, but there's cheat. no man that don't think about cheating or that's gonna cheat if y'all been together for a long time. I agree with you. Every I, man wants some new new. Yeah, yeah and, but you want to know something? Every man wants some new new. But you want to know something? Like, I feel like that new new that y'all want uh-huh. will never replace what you got. You know what I'm saying? I agree with never, you. That. Never. It's, it's, it's definitely it's just, it's definitely like for the moment. Yeah, for the yeah. moment, and that's where y'all mess up at because y'all are basically causing permanent damage for, for temporary. something temporary for temporary pleasure. Why would you do that? That's just like, hard. but y'all don't think what y'all has. Y'all think. 
With our with heads. something I'm else. Not lie, but what if, it was, what if it was us? What if I we mean, thought what me, our... I always, this me. One thing I do always agree with is that women are way stronger than men. Mm-hmm. When I say that a man can have sex with multiple women, 10 women. And not and care. And then not care. But that one time your girl say, I had sex. I don't... It's over. Oh, yeah. No! Y'all talking about you about just, I, it, you almost lose your mind. Like your mind is gone. Yeah, because like, your pride and your ego is knocked. It's but gone. I think it's a double standard though, because we're no, we're it's a wired. double standard definitely yeah, with y'all. But, but we're wired differently though. Like, it don't matter. Y'all could y'all could legit fall in love with somebody and not right. Even that's look what I'm saying. When we that's what I'm years. saying. When we cheat, listen, that guy can potentially replace you. But when y'all cheat, that girl can never replace what you got at home. No, never. No. It's, it's never. what they call. No, no. Um, just, like sometimes you just never know. It's what they call the eighty twenty rule. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I, I, it's no, I believe in that. Room. No, I believe in that. That girl yeah, got that twenty percent. But you twenty percent. But what if you lose that eighty to get twenty percent? But what if you lose that eighty percent? You got twenty. Now you feel dumb. I, but I think everything start off at twenty. What? I and mean, then you gain. You just gain more. No, more. because nah, you can't turn up. No. <laughs> no, you can't turn up into a housewife. Okay. Yeah, I mean, of course that. I mean, but all all women that you might not might be in a situation with might not be hoes. Like it's yeah, good, yeah. It's, but if she know the world's changed now. Okay. Well, if you lied to her. She didn't know. What if you lied to her? You just the. I'm just I saying. Say I'm it. not saying I did. I'm saying that sometimes men tend to live. No, I know they do. Time, but, so. but you know, once that girl find out that she was lying to them, She's then snitching. that's what. Then that no. Then that's where their their self worth comes in. Like so, then you gonna let this man? And then like I just feel like women should all stick together. And like if you don't want your heart broke, if you don't want to happen to you, why let it happen to some other female? You know what I'm saying? I never been the type. To try to break up a home you or never like cheated? it? No, I haven't. Actually, never, ever, I never did. cheated. No, I never cheated. Not even I never when you cheated. Were younger, I, nothing. I, you know I what? never cheated. Hey, where are you from again? I'm from Detroit. D- she, she from D. Had a boyfriend. I they never. Be with listen, it, I it never was. cheated. All my boy, all my like, okay, all my. Well, the all my previous boyfriends like were in high school and kitty relationships, and then my last relationship I got out of, we were like together since seventeen, and we ended up getting married. So like, I was with him for the longest. Right. Was always loyal, never cheated on him, never met up with no guys, never text no dudes, nothing. No. Damn. See, but I say, well, oh, yeah, here go, here okay. go. Until at the, you know, like how you still like how you still living in the house with somebody, but you like it's done. They didn't cheat it, any, like, and you know it's over. And like y'all basically over. Y'all ain't talking no more. Like at the very, very, very end, when I met my friend Claire, you know what I'm saying? That was at the very end, and then I like. That's when I moved out and went to my brother's mm. and I divorced. You know what I'm saying? But if I don't know what y'all call that, I don't I don't call it cheating, but just throwing it out there just in case people wanna, wanna say, say, but you did you I'm just letting it be clear. But cheated, no. Right. I never gave my body to anyone else. That's the only man that had me. Um and that's crazy. I think, but you know what? I think that some girls are wired differently. You know what I'm saying? I think that in Atlanta, Georgia, not to say that all women are like that in Atlanta, but we have a big mixture of a whole lot of different type of women. So I think that once they all get dumped here, you know what I'm saying, some of them are hoes and some are not. But I just think that the standard of women, like how y'all are in Detroit and the Midwest, what I sense, y'all a little bit more tight. If you rock with a dude, you rock with him. When a lot of women here, they, you know, they like the way they options. It really matter about where you're from? Yes. Really? I think the upbringing is just different some some places, but... I mean, all in all, I think, I think women are just built differently than men. Definitely, women, women can fight it off. Men can't. Yeah, no, yes, y'all can. Eh. Yes, y'all can fight, fight it off. I'm tired of that excuse. They can. They y'all can. know Don't what get me y'all wrong. doing. They can. Men can. Just but like we can fight it. Off. No, yeah, we better. Women but are y'all better at it. It's just like, yeah, I get it. I get it. You, I don't some think girl I, with some big butt come up to you and you all tempted. Yeah, but like, really think about what you got. Like, y- y'all don't think about. No, y'all don't. Yeah, I'm do. just saying, no, you don't. I'm, women, there's um, there's men that are faithful, but women are just better at it, is what I'm saying. Definitely. Yeah, but I'm just saying, y'all don't think about. Nah. Y'all, I, I, y'all don't I, think about risking it. It's okay. No, I, I, I agree with you. I think a lot of men. I think that we. I think as a man, you do have problems with, with which is that concept of risking, because it's like just really for the moment. You know what I'm saying? You're thinking with your. Why don't you just head. go home and do something with your lady? No, with that that new thing be looking down the <laughs> way. <laughs> You know, if you've seen you seen lady for a long time, that new thing. I get it. Like, it's not even it. that she's better, she's cuter, she's pu- it's just It's just new. different it's and just new. new. So it's natural for you to want something new and crave something. It's also natural for a female right. to crave something new as well, like when stuff going wrong. But other than that, like you can be so in love with the guy. But like we never will go do it. We never will go do it. Right. Unless, 
then that dude just I, I almost said something else, but unless that guy just really treating you wrong and you just outdone with him and you and, and you fed up. Okay, so look, so okay, so you're you're a new guy, model, right? How do you deal with that? Like, how do model. you deal? I mean, to take pictures with it. He's popular. He's a mod. Yeah, he 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 got fa- he into all of that. I like fashion. <laughs> She's a he he. Uh, so uh, so how do, how do you deal with that? He, like he, like he, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because you went from a relationship that that your um your ex husband was popular. Well, I'm mm-hmm. sure they all popular together. But now you got this other guy that you know what I'm saying. Ladies probably like you. Mean, yeah, they thought they saw him too. Getting their lust on. Definitely. Definitely. How do you deal with that? Cause you look, you seem like a little fighter, like you you feisty. Honestly, like I, with him, like it's like okay. I don't know if he before me he had you know what I'm saying he he told me that he had a he had a hell of a college life. <laughs> so like yeah. I mean, like maybe he had his experiences. I don't know. Maybe he had that, but I, I don't really worry about nothing now until I find out something that happens. Sorry, Ain't nothing has everything you know been straight, and we have a really good bond and friendship. We like really like close where we could talk about you know what I'm saying anything and he honestly he tr- like he honest. Can a man's whole wholeness get deleted though? But um yeah, so he, I believe his delete, wholeness. delete 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 delete. <laughs> yeah, I I think so. Just like a woman's wholeness. Nope nope. <laughs> no, I yep. don't think it can. Yep. No. No. Yep. 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 No. Yes. It, so <laughs> oh now it's ever yes it nah, yes it, it can. You can change. No 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 no. You can change, but doesn't mean people want that change. Listen, women could change. They can. It's I don't just want no like, chick that used to be a porn star. Let's come on now. We're not Drake. talking about that. <clears throat> we talk about girls that had wild, wild times yeah, back in the day. Yeah, basically they were hood hood porn stars, basically. No. I mean not I mean, you could be a little freak, but like you could be a freak but quiet and you can get around quietly. Mm-mm, they don't be quiet. Because once see, once you start knowing oh my man hit that, oh you know her? Think, yeah, he Okay, hit so that. so tell me this. It, I don't know if this is the same for, for men and women. Okay. Ugh, so But then never mind, I don't know if it's good for Y'all either never mind. Y'all hold this can't get deleted. Yeah, see, <laughs> never mind. So, so look, I think I think it's more like usually like like when a, when a woman a woman's more of a trophy. I think that when a guy hits or something like that, and then you be a come. So a what pop y'all hit. think y'all is? She, you know, y'all I'm ain't... just a mission. Yeah, but no, it's At different. Point, I just think like it's different. I think they. You men, think we want something? That everybody, you didn't been I up get, in everybody. I hear you on that. I agree with you on that. But I'm saying like I think that sometimes with, even with men, men tend to be like, "Hey, Cass, that's your girl. Yeah, I hit her." I don't think women are going around and say like, "Hey." No, women do that too. Okay. Believe no, me, it's, it's different though. Like, it's a conquering thing with men. So if like you hit my girl, it's like you conquered my household. It sounds stupid, but that's how men think. Like, you conquered my household. You came in here. You had my wife. You. It's like a territorial thing for men. You man, I mean? but that's what that's where forgiveness and stuff come in. At like people, everybody have a past. You gonna judge? Say if you meet a beautiful girl, she have a beautiful spirit and she's classy and. And you find out later on that like when she was back in college, she used to, you know what I'm saying? You gon' you gonna miss that opportunity like after she changed because Yep. <laughs> really? Are you serious? <laughs> if I found out she was gang, bang, bang, gang, nah, no, nah, chill. Yeah, see, like, cause I, like, okay, but that nah. okay, so are you th- talking about that kind of thing? Cause I'm, I'm not. No, all right, but look, what if you found out your dude had mad bodies? He had mad, I like, okay. OD bodies. I think all I think of y'all had mad bodies. bodies. Like, yeah, if he bodies. had, like, 300 bodies. I think all of y'all have. I'm not dealing with no girl that had 300 bodies. Yeah, that's okay, different. Okay, yeah, it's a difference. I see. Yeah, exactly. I, like, a, like, for instance, I'll give an example. A, a, a situation where Claremont twins, they were just on, on live because of what happened in the situation where one of the twins found in the text message where she prostituted for $400, and then she ended up, guy ended up overdosing, she ended up stealing the money. I wouldn't wife I don't her know nothing about that. this story. Okay, well, I'm telling you. I wouldn't wife her. <laughs> And she's a nice girl. We met her. We interviewed her and everything. But I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wife her. So why you? Okay. I'm just giving an example because we're talking about certain situations of beautiful mm-hmm. women that have a past. Well, that that's your preference. I understand everybody has a preference, but what, what I'm saying is people have everybody have a past as well, and you shouldn't judge someone from their past. Mm, it sounds like BS. I'm okay, judging. well then you know what? <laughs> I hope somebody come along and judge you for your past. They then. have. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Well, since you don't care, there's nothing else I could say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about when, when, when at what point did you understand, like, you know what? I have a beautiful voice and I, I have a gift with this singing thing. At what age did you like, three. realize? Three years old. Three. So you were singing at three. How did that work? Um, I grew up singing in church, so. Your mom was like, go on up there, baby. No, my grandma, yeah, my, my grandma was the one that's always making me go up there. And um, honestly, I, I loved it just growing up. So at the age of three, you could really like, because I haven't seen a three-year-old that could sing before. You know what I'm saying? So that's unique. So like, was your voice sound that good that your family was like, yo, I think she got something. When I was little, okay, I was able to like harmonize with my mom and stuff. 
Oh. So she was like, how could she hold this note? Like, I was harmonizing at a young age. Mm. Maybe my voice wasn't as, like, you know, mature as it is now, of course, but, like, you knew I had something. Right. And that's when you started, though. Like, that's when you knew, yeah. like, I love this. Okay, so now tell me about this EP you got coming out. Let's get into it. Comes the out July 27th, Emotional Journey, Medicine of Karma is on there. Um, you already you already heard those. I don't know if you heard Karma. Yeah, no, I haven't heard Karma yet. Um, Medicine is definitely dope. <laughs> he lit. Yeah. That's mommy life. It's all good. He's so about you gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lee. Go ahead. Just put the water. That's what happens when you bring your kids to interviews. And you know what? People always I wanna say this. People always say, why can't she have her son? Why can't she take him um to work with her? Beyonce doing this and that. This is exactly the reason why it's not always good to bring your, well. You don't got a staff always, like Beyonce. Yeah. You don't got 17, That's what I'm saying. Like, Beyonce, like, this is my manager. You know what I'm saying? So pe- the people that be talking stuff about me not have my kid need to. Well, you gonna track. get there. Like I, I like I, like I said, I, I feel like definitely just meeting you. You're very definitely a very good person. Thank you. You know, what I'm saying? you feel like a, like a little cousin, little sister that live in Detroit that I know. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying I only see you on friend reunions, and you don't you cheat. Talk sometimes, and you don't cheat. I don't, man. I'm Troy not lying. Road, but the loyalty long as <laughs> six miles. <laughs> so tell me what's next. This project that you got coming out, I know you're very excited about it. First project. Mm-hmm, yes. Tell it's, me about it's it. It's my first um, EP, and I'm really excited. I never. <sighs> I never thought that. I mean, I thought, but I just didn't know when. It's just kind of surreal now. Mm-hmm. Everybody really about to hear my work. Like, not just my my singing, but, like, what I wrote. I'm a songwriter. So now I get to show everybody my creativity and how I can, you know, express myself in, in music so well. And I'm really happy about it. I just truly have confidence in my in my project, and I feel like, it give you that real EP vibe. I mean, not EP vibe, R and B vibe. Okay. Um, and it's like it's kind of missing now because everybody's trying to do. Well, it's kind of coming back a little bit, like with LMA and like SZA and you know her. Right. But like, I just think it's you know kind of different. So I hope everybody enjoys it. Do you think people will judge you? Like, um, do you get any hate? Like, she's an Instagram, YouTube girl. Yeah, like, I get she's hate. Doing music now. I get hate on so many things that I'm not it, that I'm a one-hit wonder, that I'm not all of that, that I ain't cute. Like, I mean, I get hate, but, you know, I realize something. I have way more lovers than haters. Right, nice. Like, I got 4 million followers, right? right. I am, and listen, I don't brag. I'm humble. But what I'm saying is I have 4 million followers, and out of, there's a hate page for me, and it's like 100,000 people. That follow the hate page. That follow the hate page. And, like, a lot of people say, comment, bad stuff under there. But it's only 4 million to 100K. Like, right, it's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like my, the ratio of lovers and haters, like, they could care. I mean, I could care less of what people say because I'm steady going up. And, you know. So at, at what point were you able to deal with that? Because I think that a lot of, a lot of probably young people, you know what I'm saying, that's in, in the spotlight, period. Go through that. At what point are you was like, you know what? Let me not worry about this. I think when I first did a little love and hip hop, when they was taking me out, I, I had to deal with that. Like you had to deal with people saying negative things about me or trying to figure out stuff to say about me, but me not being real, being able to actually respond back. But it um, kind of made me angry. But I had to just realize, like, you know what? Now I'm gonna read them for fun. Like, let's see how funny mm-hmm. they are. Like, it just I had a different way of coping with it. How did you? When did you decide to be like, you know what? I ain't. I ain't just recently. Same. Just recently. Um, I have a issue with reading comments. Like, but thank God I have people around me like that, people like Claire that take my phone if I'm looking at negative comments and like. Why does that bother people? Like, why? why okay, does that look, let me you? tell you, nothing else bothers me besides when people talk about my son. Right. Like, it's a whole nother ball game when you talk about people's kids and when you talk about people's parenting. Like, I mean, I know that I'm a good mother, and so nobody should be able to get to me with that. But it's when they talk about him and say. Uh, he can't talk right or like how old is he he's supposed to like what's wrong with his teeth like how could you sit up there and talk about somebody's kid but you do realize the people that are saying this are probably people that are like 30 something still living in their mother's basement it's like it's just a whole point yeah but it's like it's, it's a it's care about but, but, but you know what my son is gonna grow up one day right. and none of that stuff is gonna lead the internet so I have to basically guard him and and train him up so that none of that stuff will bother him you know what I'm saying? So I'm recently 
I've recently been working on not letting things like that bother me because I have to have confidence in myself and know who I am, what kind of mother I am, you know. Yeah, I know I can turn off comments, but I like to read the good comments too because then the pos- the people that speak positive will be mad. Like, Queen, why you let the haters dictate, you know, whether we get to comment or not? Right. Okay. Dude, so are you still on food stamps? No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I thank the Lord. I've been, you know, I've been, I've been off of food stamps since I started YouTube, and of course they wasn't gonna give them to me. They cut them right off when they found out I was making money on YouTube. Did you still try to keep them though? I think I did. <laughs> I ain't gonna did, lie. You should have did the ODB, pick up the welfare check and the limo. I mean, you know, it helped a lot, but nobody wants to live off the uh, the government, you know, for for that long. Right. You know, um, even when I had a job, it was really hard to keep up because I had a take my check and figure out, was I going to pay my car note? Was I going to fix the engine? Was I going to pay my rent? Was I going to buy food for that? Like, so, you know, it was it was just really hard. But I just thank God that I'm out of that now. And that's why I remain to stay humble because, you know, he could bless you, but you could lose it tomorrow. Give so. time. What would you, what, what advice would you give, like, future YouTubers, like, as far as about YouTube? Uh, as far as about YouTubing? Period. Man, you got to be built for it, man, because people, like, you got to be built for for YouTube because people going to, once you open up your life, so many people going to have, like, their opinions and you really can't get mad. Right. You can't get mad because you open that up and you know that it's, you know, negative energy out there. So you got to be tough. You got to have tough skin. You got to be consistent, you know, if you if you want to get your name out there and, and build a big platform. And you definitely have to intrigue people. You cannot be boring on right. YouTube. Don't nobody want to. Be like, what's up? My name is like you have to have energy and you know be it's a job. Yeah, it's definitely a job, you know. And don't look at YouTube as just YouTube is hard. Like you gotta edit your videos or find an editor to edit your videos. Like you gotta make sure you cut certain stuff out. Like you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Um. So yeah, just be consistent and um stay humble on there because a lot of people, you know, they get them YouTube checks and they start getting cocky and and. I heard those are nice checks. Great checks, great, <laughs> great checks. Never end up working a nine and five again, checks. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. So yeah. look, I got another question. So how do you deal with um because you do put your life out there? How do you deal with people that just walk up on you or even try to get close to you and and just um and think they know you? Um, See what I'm saying like because I, I got that when I when I did the like did the love and hip hop thing for a little man, second. Like people really think I they get know that who you are. Almost every single day, like. I'd be at the airport and I'd be walking. Somebody run up to me and hug me from the back, like Queen, uh, and I'd be like, "Oh my God!" Like, it's like I can't, I can't really be mad because a lot of those people, well, most of those people are fans. Right. I don't want to say fans. Supporters. Supporters yeah. I don't like to say fans. A lot of those people, well, I just say fans because they say I'm a fan of you, so it's in my head. But uh, uh, most of them are supporters, and they feel like maybe they're really excited. They feel like they never was gonna see me, so I always like have to remember that. Uh, this this could be my first, their first impression of me, and I don't want them to walk away thinking I was a mean person. But sometimes I do feel sick, and sometimes I don't really like I'm tired, and I don't feel like taking a picture. But I say yes every time, no matter how I look. Sometimes I might be like, "Could you put a filter on?" Because I'm not looking. Right. Is it so? <laughs> is it, at what point is it like? Do you do you have security yet? Like that's kind of dangerous. You know. Okay. What I mean? like, um. So I I have security when I go to events, but like as far as right now. Going to the airports and you know stuff like that. Thugging it. I'm just thugging it. Right. I'm just That's thugging. a Detroit. That's but you know, Detroit God, me. God got my back. I hope he does. So oh, what, he does. What type of feel is your music? Um, like describe the feel. Like if somebody never heard any of your music before. It's really vibey, soulful, kind of like '90s cadence. Does that come from being in the church? Um. Maybe the soulful side. Right. Um, and, like, maybe my riffs and runs come from the church. Uh, what else What else could I say? Really easy for you to understand. You know how people right. try to write songs and, like, they try to be all... Deep, too deep. Deep, it goes too over your head. so deep that you can't even understand, like, okay. Like, it's deep, but it's deep enough where you can understand it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Do you write um, your music? Very relatable. Yeah, I write all my music. Wow. Okay. So that's another thing. When my EP dropped, just know that every song, I wrote it and know that every song was from experience. 
No, not a welfare. You should, like an EBT <laughs> song. Well, you should talk about it. Do you speak about your experience from? I will. From I do have beginning? a. I do have a song about the struggle. Right. That I will be. You know. Maybe like a song like government support. No. Nothing, nothing like that. That's <laughs> now that's it. ghetto. Just shooting out ideas. Yeah. Cause first and fifteen. <laughs> that'll be a dope song. First and fifteen. You funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So, but, so okay. So out of all our five songs on this EP, if if they're not um, a Queen Niger fan. What would be the song to listen to to gain that 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 fanship? Is that a word? That's not a word. Mama's hand. Mama's hand. Tell me about that song. Mama's hand is a very big record to me, and I feel like it will be to everyone else. Um, every almost everybody are, is a parent or mother. So that's how all of us got here. Right. So your mom can relate to it. My mom did. Your mom can. Your baby mama can relate to it. Like mothers. Period. Parents. Um. I wrote this song to my son and, and those um who wait, you I was gonna say those who watch my YouTube, but you said people that don't it's just very it's very emotional and I, I feel like you guys will love it. Um even the guys, y'all gonna have a soft spot in there. So, cause y'all got kids. On the EP? Five. Five, five. Five good old songs that you're gonna repeat and make it feel like ten. Okay, now now this artwork cover. Who did the artwork cover? On um, the label, but I brought the idea to it. Me and me and my team came up with the idea. What is this? What does it mean though? It's like if if you ever seen the um cover, it's like basically like you walking and you have two different paths that you're going down. Um, yeah, I, I have son. to choose which path I'm gonna go. There's me and my son, because now, um, now that me and my ex husband are split, it's no longer a family right. unit. So it's me and my son on my on my end, and um, we are both naked. Why are we naked? Because we were stripped. From everything, mm. you know, um, no longer in a in a house with a family, no longer a family unit. I moved from the house, so it was a long time when I didn't have a place of my own. Um, no longer like car gone because the, the car that he surprised me with wasn't his name because he had a he had to go get it. So that went back to him. Um, everything that I had as a family unit, like I didn't, I don't have it no more. So now I'm a Alone and my, of course, my son is walking this road with me because that's my that's son. He's going where I'm gonna go. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I'm taking from his dad, but right. he's gonna go anywhere I go. So, um, and then the sunset. I mean, the sun in front of us is the our destiny, where we headed, and you know that is light at the end of the tunnel. So, um, that's really, that's really what it. You know, rec I mean, that's not the word. Resembles. Right. Resembles. I was going to say something else. Um, a lot of people didn't get it, but I don't expect everybody to get it. I mean, no, I, I totally get it. That's why I wanted you to explain it because I thought it was kind of unique. You know what I'm saying? As yeah. far as in that way, but I didn't know which would do which direction you were going. I feel like like I feel like you're de definitely a dope person, Thank very you. humble, and I think that everybody, you know, what I'm saying, pretty much, is, I definitely want to see you win. Do you I still feel saying? like a, seem like a rapper? Yeah, you're still gonna be my little dog. Yeah, just when you walk in the just, room, you got a rapper vibe. Yeah. He's still a little gangster. <laughs> I'm going to be ghetto with you every time I see you. No, that's what's up. I'm fine with that. You like, got some Queen, ramen. what's up? Yeah. You got some ramen noodles? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But definitely, I got to salute you and everything you got going on. I'm glad you came by to, to definitely sit and talk with us. Thank got a little chance to know you a lot more about you. And like I said, I just say, stay focused. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? Keep God first, like you've been doing. Always. Take care of little man. And show all these people wrong, man. I feel like you the girl from the block that, like, you know what I'm saying, that deserves to come up. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely can't wait to see how you are and when you get bougie. I'm get never going to get bougie. You ain't going to get no jewelry and stuff? A bust I'm down? Get, but just because I get some bust down, I'm going to You ain't going to be bougie to it? All right. No. Nope. Don't All buy right. the bust down. Buy a house and some property. Oh, you no, get definitely. Don't buy the bust down. I'm working on it. The bust down coming, though. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get you some cars. I'm working on it. I got to get something, though. I mean, I like, just some. Maybe maybe not bust down. Maybe, little maybe a little plain Jane. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little something. You deserve it, man. You work hard. You, you deserve know, it. I barely get anything for myself. So guess what? Your career, the way you going, man. You keep singing like that. You are gonna be all good in the hood. Yeah. Oh, you know he's gonna put me on the spot. Yeah. You, Proof you to them that you can something. sing, baby. Huh? Proof. What y'all want me to sing? Sing one of your what songs. Yeah. One of my songs. Mm -hmm. One of my songs are already released. Or? Mama yeah. song. One of your favorite songs oh, on the EP. I can't do it. I can't on do it. On the EP. Give us. I gotta give a couple bars on the from the huh? EP. I, I can only do what I gave on the radio. All right. You gonna ad lib on the I don't like what? I don't like to sing my songs, but I sing them too much. 
What, what, what song do you, okay, I, okay, so um, what's your favorite song out right now that's not by you? That just uh, touches your soul. Ooh. Um, Best Part by Daniel. Oh, that Caesar. song is hard. I love that Let's song. Let's hear a little bit of it. Come, Come on. on. I, Welcome right. to the voice. <laughs> a little bit. Welcome to the full. Tiny bit. Man, I got to think of the whole melody. You don't know, babe, when you hold me. A kiss me slowly, it's the sweetest thing. And it don't change. If I had it my way, you would know that you are. All right, I'm done. You're the is. coffee that I need in the morning. Okay, you finished it. You're the coffee that I need in the morning. That's dope, though. That's my song. So does your son like enjoy? Do you do you actually sing him to sleep every day, or how does that work? Um, I don't sing him to sleep, but he know my songs. So yeah, he know, so you you not old school parent parent style. My mom used to sing to me. My mama can't sing. I'm trying to. Not, I, to. I mean, no, I used to sing to him when he was in the womb. Um, I sing Mama's hand, but he thinks that it's sad. But when he get older, he'll understand. Right. He sing all my songs every time they come on at night. I try to just now. I'm trying to do different things like read him a book before right. he go to sleep Amen. or something like. That's so. Up. You know, I don't sing to him at night. Maybe I should. Maybe you should. He might, he might enjoy it. He gonna, like, he gonna be like, "Mommy, shut up." You like mommy to sing? Yeah. yeah. You like mommy to <laughs> sing? Oh yeah. The other day he did tell me he was like, "Mommy, I love you songs." Aww. You love your mommy songs? Yeah. Aww, <laughs> there it is. All that matters, man. Well, thank you. Definitely, thank you for um for stopping in and talking to us, man. Let them know your Instagram one more time. Queen Nigel, Q U E E N N A I J A. Project drops July 27th. 27th is going down. For sure. Y'all go get that. Dirty Boys, Hollow 7-9.